Good morning. It is Wednesday, March 25th, I think. I'm um, not really 100% sure what day it is. Um, I do know what time it is. It is about 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, I have been wanting to do a video for you guys of what's in my fridge right now that everybody is homebound. So let's take a tour. All right, we will start with the top. And no, it's not perfectly organized or anything like that. But starting up here at the top, we've got eggs. We've got a whole carton. Do you have some extra over here? Don't know why these can't live together. So we have eggs. Um, these are great, obviously, in the morning or tonight we're gonna have breakfast for dinner. Um, over here, usually where I keep all my berries. So I've got blueberries left right now. Um, I did have some raspberries, those are gone. Strawberries, need to get some. So there's that. Um, I have a stash of pickles back there that honestly are just really for a rainy day. Um, I haven't really had any of those pickles in a long time, but they don't really go bad. So, back in the back over here is chocolate hummus. Honestly, I probably need to throw that away. So, we'll just set him off to the side. Um, and then, I do like to have some creamer variety in my life. So, this one is better half. Vanilla, coconut, cream, almond milk. I mean, look at those macros, quite great. Um, and then I also have the hazelnut flavor here. Again, look at those macros. Pretty decent ingredients, good to have options. I do have another creamer hanging out down here. Um, this one's currently my favorite. It has a little bit more on the macro front um, with five grams of fat. And three grams of protein, which is great, but it's because this one has some MCT oil. Um, all right, top shelf. Michael's a big fan of Activia, so we keep some of that here. One little measly carton of egg whites that I've got left in the corner. Um, this avocado smash, these are currently my favorite. They are from Costco, not to be confused with guacamole. Um, one packet has some pretty great macros as well and look at those ingredients everything is really natural so that is awesome um, some sad sad carrots back here so put these down here with the chocolate hummus this was left over from dinner last night but the salsa is Mateo's um, this is my family's favorite salsa typically we buy the one from Costco but you know we went small because we went to a different grocery store. Um, this back here is actually some venison and marinara sauce. So it's a venison spaghetti sauce. I'll just put him up there. Um, again, creamer, 2% milk. I typically don't drink regular dairy milk, but my family does. So there's that. Um, I drink almond milk. I don't drink a lot of it, so this will probably last me a good good while just gonna also do some rearranging while we're in here how do you look more egg whites put him up here um okay these are for kids yes there are two kids that live in my house 12 and 14 so caramel apple i did not buy these just gonna go there um this is a sausage bake that i made this week so this is half has egg sausage, wild hog sausage, um, there's actually bell peppers in there, they're yellow so can't really tell. Um, half has cheese, half has no cheese, obviously my side is the no cheese, um, but yeah I make these a lot with all of the sausage that we have on hand. Um, here is more just regular sausage, bulked, ready to go. Again, my family's gonna have breakfast for dinner tonight, so this is probably what we'll have. Um, and then this is just bulk ground turkey that I made. Um, again, I typically cook all of my proteins in bulk, so there's that. This back health corner over here is where I keep 
straight lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, and then I have a few ginger lemonade kombuchas on hand. Honestly, I don't reach for those that often, um, but they're there in case I ever get the feeling. Next shelf, all of my fizzy beverages. So I have some Dr. Hanson, not Dr. Diet Hansons. Um, I do like the diet. It is made with some natural-ish sugars. My refrigerator is going to start yelling at me now. So we're just going to pretend like we're closing the doors. Okay, there's that. Um, I love this flavor, Diet Cherry Vanilla. I um, also really enjoy their ginger ale. Might be some of that in here. Good old LaCroix. I'm not a big fan of LaCroix. Certain flavors, but um big zevia gal ginger ale again big ginger ale gal i just recently picked these guys up these ahas i like the lime watermelon flavor um and then i also picked up the strawberry cucumber honestly i probably like the strawberry cucumber a little i don't know they're both they're pretty good again i like a little bit more sweet so i typically prefer the ginger ale or the cherry vanilla Dr. Hansen's, Diet Hansen's, whatever it's called. Um, I do have a little bit of Greek yogurt, actually, to keep my yogurt up here. Um, this is just Ziggy's vanilla. I was kind of in a rush, grabbed this as a snack. Pretty good macros. Honestly, this one does have a little bit of high sugar for me, a little bit more carb than I would normally like, but great amount of protein. I honestly only eat this maybe about once a week, so that little bit should last me a good bit. Um, here we have just some bulk rice. Again, some days I meal prep, so this is literally just a big bulk thing of brown rice. Um, I'm planning to pair that with some vegetables that are hiding down here. Um, along with my throwaway pile. And, um, so yeah, bulk rice. Bulk is the way to go on Sundays. This here... This is peppers, onions, squash that I made. My fridge again is not happy with me. Um, again, I made this on Sunday. And um, just having bulk vegetables on hand is great, obviously, so that you can mix and match them however you see fit. Okay, we're almost, we're almost to the end here. So more carbs, bulk carbs here. These are some regular cut potatoes. These are again from Costco. I love to put these in my air fryer. Um, my family loves these, especially in the air fryer when they get nice and crisp. This is probably my favorite drawer. So I keep all of my perfect bars. Yes, I usually crack one open, eat about a half a bar and save it for a rainy day, usually the next day. Um, and my one lime chico that I have hanging out down here. Um, this is our dairy cheese drawer. Not that exciting. I don't eat cheese um, very much. And then down here, have some apples, gluten free tortillas, a lot of squash. This was Michael Saylor's. This is not mine. Disclaimer, but it's in my fridge. This is some banana bread that I made. Um, Took some pictures of that guy the other day. And then, let's see, sauce wise. I mean, my sauces are pretty similar to everybody else's. You've got your Parmesan cheeses. I put some cool juice shots up here. Again, I'm cringing at how terribly anonymized this is right now. So, we're just gonna butter. Um, I love this Kerry Gold. That's my favorite butter. Um, probably my favorite sauces and dressings are this Bolt House Farms. Their ranch is great. Also have their um, Caesar. I hear you, amigo. Cool. Okay. Um, Michael's a big A1 fan. Personally, I've got coconut vinos. Um, this soyaki from Trader Joe's is one of my favorites. Just be careful, it does have a good bit of carbs in it. Um, 
another Caesar here from Primal Kitchen. These are pretty high in fat, so just be mindful if you do get those dressings. They're great. Um, typically at the end of the day, have some of your regular barbecue sauces. I typically put a sugar-free syrup. This is not usually my syrup of choice, but again, desperate times call for desperate measures. Um, this is a good barbecue sauce. This one is not mine, I don't think. No, this one is the point. Mine is over here. Um, and by mine, mine is the sugar-free stubs. This is actually really great, reduced sugar. Um, only eight grams of carbs in two tablespoons, which is pretty banging. My family's barbecue sauce of choice is obviously Sweet Baby Ray's. This ketchup right here is the bomb.com. Like, shout out to G Hughes for your sugar free ketchup because it is seriously amazing. Um, yeah, look at those macros and for the most part, look at those ingredients. Pretty great. All right, so that's in my fridge right now. Um, could definitely take you on a tour of my freezer. We keep a lot of stuff frozen, um, but I will probably save that for a different video just because this one's already pretty long. So anyway, if you have any questions in the meantime, don't hesitate to shoot them my way, but I hope you have a great day and I hope that if you're going to the grocery store, maybe you're stocking up on some essentials that, you know, good for you and your family or good for this time now is a really good time to like play with some recipes get creative all of those good things so make it a great day friends and i will hit you with what's in my freezer here soon